Welcome to Beers with Rich. I'm Rich, editor of Under the Radar Report. The past couple of weeks, I haven't been taking any chances. I've been going to quality, the quality brews. Now I'm throwing caution to the wind. Why is that? Because our portfolio manager is buying. More of that later. But let's kick off with the caution element of the beer. Electric boots and mohair suits. Um, by Akash Project Brewers in Five Dock. Well, I asked the bottle shop guy about it and he said it's an oat cream IPA, proving that he can read. Let's crack it. Ooh, just a quiet crack. Mmm, it's not bad. So we're celebrating because our portfolio manager has bought more in the past week than for the entire t previous 12 months. That's right, we're buyers. I want to talk about that and about which stocks include in gold. But first, why is he buying? Well, last week I talked about the indiscriminate selling in the markets, you know, promoted by the huge leverage. Um, that's right. You know, we're looking at the big selling at the speculative end, the Bitcoins of this world, the cryptos of the world, and blue sky stocks. And with interest rates going up, well, you know, you're not going to invest in the bonds market, are you? You know, meanwhile, the cash is burning a hole in his pocket, and those interest rates also mean, you know, properties probably, you know, not, not a no-go zone. So where do you go? Quality stocks. As for Bitcoin, I mean, those cryptos have been put to the sword. I mean, Bitcoin itself off about two thirds in the past couple of months, you know, from 66,000 to 20,000 US, I think. But you can lose your money altogether in these markets, you know, because basically there's no recourse often. So the key for me was when we saw selling in these um, stable, stable coins. I mean, they're meant to be based you know, they're meant to be asset backed. So they've been among the hardest hit. So there's no security anywhere in that in that sector. But there is value, and where is that? In individual stocks. So that's where it gets interesting. These are country companies that are actually generating profits and wait for it. Dividends. Used to that. Well, this means they've got something called intrinsic value. And that's what markets look for in times of stress. Anything else, and you have very little to hold on to. So, you know, what are the qualities we look for that give you an easy night's sleep? Like when you're buying these sort of stocks, why are they going to you know, be more protected than others? What's our portfolio manager been buying, in other words? Well, he's been spending some of his cash on AMP and Woodside, but he's also been buying lots of small caps, which he's still buying. So, you know, and we're also interested in quality gold producers, Northern Star and Evolution Mining, which I'll get to. But this week's, in this week's report, we cover eight small caps, which we consider royalty. That's right. These stocks are born to rule. You see that? Hereditary rule. Can't personally understand it. But anyway, these stocks are considered royalty because the common denominator is they've got very strong, almost bulletproof balance sheets. So they're holding lots of cash. And more important than that even, is they've got you know, a, a really good customer base, a strong customer base. Why is that so important? Your customer base is your best indicator of a strength of your product of service. Like basically your ability to pass on cost increases, your ability to handle losing a customer, for example. There's lots of variables, obviously. But, you know, you have to go through specifics like Austel, you know, the shipbuilder. They've, their customers are gold-plated, US and Australia, Australian governments. You know, they're preferred tender to the US Navy for certain classes of boats. So, basically... That stock's been hit because there's issues about filling its shipyards. But looking at it in other ways, there's a lot of potential when those shipyards get filled. So there's lots of potential for growth without increasing the, in, without increasing the fixed costs. So that's what we call operating leverage. So you buy a stock like Austal, it goes up, it might go down, but basically you're banking those dividends in between 
and it's a calculated bet that there's a lot more you know there's a lot more upside potential than you know than downside or you know it could go up a lot more than it'll come off so that's what value investing is about so we also include in the in the report um, a world-class Australian lithium producer Australian based lithium producer this company's possibly got the fastest growing customer base on the planet in terms of value I'm talking about battery manufacturers more to the point it has a market share of 10% and its growth plan aims at maintaining that market share it's fully funded with proven management so we like that one we also include a contractor why you know that's interesting in its in itself why would we include in this bunch uh, a company who's only good as, as good as its last job well firstly it's got a great deal of cash secondly it's got a fantastic niche across both mining and industrial um, sort of work across Australia so we're talking about mining infrastructure and this com company's got a, a really good track record of paying dividends so returning to shareholders that's a key that's what we like in times of uncertainty companies that have a track record of giving back to their shareholders of returning some of those profits in the form of dividends actions speak louder than words when there's so much uncertainty that's for sure and lastly I want to mention gold well there's been demand for the yellow metal as long as there's been civilization basically yeah, used to that sure it's mysterious gold is mysterious but actually I found it really interesting when the proverbial really hit the fan at the start of the year and you know they saw footage of tanks in the Ukraine Russian tanks that it went well above two thousand dollars an ounce well above two thousand dollars an ounce so you know it is a hedge against crisis but you know whereas there's a lot of mystery about you know where and why the gold price moves there's not mystery about these company these producer profits so companies that have a proven ability to find gold and produce it, well, they are worth having in your in your portfolio. I would have thought that's you know Northern Star and Evolution in the past decade have produced tenfold, fivefold returns respectively for us. So you know, and now these stocks have, have come off. So we think there's opportunities there. What's up next week? Well, as I normally say, have a toast before we get to that. Well, we're focused on income, income from small caps, income from blue chips. So we're looking at our dividend portfolios, how they're performing, what changes we're making. Look, people, you can't go broke banking a dividend. Here's to biz with Rich. See you next week.